It's time to get into the holiday spirit. Yep. <laughs> sometimes. I'm a freaking supermodel. Gosh. What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy The Real Philly Phil here and welcome back to another edition of The Face of to Be On Radio. Now, in case you folks don't know, the end of 2017 is drawing really, really close. And one of the things that keep bugging me on my mind is that we've had so many great tech items in this year, but some of them may have been good and some of them have had a little bad, to be honest. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we're sticking with the top five theme this week, and we're going to be reviewing the top five best tech items of 2017. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start it off with number five, which is the Beats Studio 3 Wireless. Now, in case you folks haven't guessed it, I love my Beats Studio Wireless 2s. These suckers are really great, and I've been using them on and off for over a year now. And the best part is the collapsibility. <laughs> the one time you don't want to fold, huh? There it goes. That's the best part about it. But there is one big change to the Beats Studio Wireless 3s. I keep getting the name wrong. It's actually Beats Studio 3 Wireless. Basically, the big change to this new offering in 2017 was the inclusion of Apple's W1 chip. And what that sucker provides is longer battery life. In fact, on these suckers, they promote that you can only get about 12 to 15 hours of wireless usage and these hinges are sometimes really really flimsy but the new beat studio 3 wirelesses actually promote that they can do up to 20 hours of wireless listening that's crazy isn't it now they sell for around 300 dollars and i'll have an amazon link to buy a set of them down below in the description now ladies and gentlemen let us move on to number four which is the samsung galaxy s8 Probably the most revolutionary smartphone that started the whole 18 by 9 aspect ratio trend was the Samsung Galaxy S8. The 5.8 inch infinity display was gorgeous when it came out in spring of 2017. The only complaint I find about this device was the placement of the fingerprint sensor near the top right corner of the phone. Now if you want to pick one up for yourself, I'll leave a link down below to eBay where you can get a 64 gig unlocked model in midnight black, coral blue, orchid gray, or arctic silver now ladies and gentlemen we're going to move on to number three which is the nintendo switch now in case folks are wondering why i never had a review on this sucker it's basically because this is uh, a friend of mine's he just loaned me the box uh because he loves his switch and there are significant reasons why when the nintendo switch came out earlier this year it blew up the nintendo switch revolutionized the way we game on the go with the 6.2 inch 720p ips touchscreen display or you can throw it into its included dock and th to throw your games up to the big screen in full 1080p HD. Hey guys, I'm just recording this real quick to let you guys know something. A little update that happened over the weekend was that if you decide to get a Nintendo Switch, make sure that you test every component of it. Because I was actually talking to my friend earlier this week that owned the Nintendo Switch box. Apparently, he hooked the dock up to the television and it wasn't working. So do yourself a favor, if you decide to get a Nintendo Switch, make sure you test every component. And I mean every component. Now back to the video. Now, you can find a link down below to Amazon where you can get a regular Nintendo Switch, just the console like this buddy, or if you're willing to pay the extra money, you can pay $334.07 and you get the Amazon Basics bundle package, which includes a play stand which allows you to play and charge the Switch at the exact same time. And my personal favorite part of the Amazon Basics bundle which is the carrying case, which allows you to carry your console and take up to 10 games along with you wherever you go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go on to number two, which is basically, I think, you folks probably know this was coming, the Razer phone. The Razer phone has the claim of being the first smartphone on the market with a 120 hertz display. The only complaint I have for this phone is that Razer advertises this as a phone for gamers but it's missing one thing that most gamers use on the daily, and that is, of course, a headphone jack. Oh, boy. But Razer justified it by explaining that the removal of the headphone jack 
was to give the phone a massive 4,000 milliamp hour battery and the good news is they included a DAC adapter in the box. An unlocked version of the Razer phone will be linked to Amazon down below. And now ladies and gentlemen, we go to number one and I think you folks knew this was coming. Number one item of 2017 tech based is of course the iPhone X. Now I'm not trying to be biased because I am an iPhone user, but everyone loves the organic LED display on the iPhone 10. But if you are an Android user or you use an iPhone that has iOS 10.3.3, stay there. As I said in previous videos before, iOS 11 is one of the buggiest and glitchiest iPhone OS's ever released. So do yourself a favor and maybe buy this sucker around this time next year when iOS 12 is strong. Link to buy one directly from Apple is down below. So yeah, if you want to get any of these items, remember all the links to them are down below. But that about wraps it up, ladies and gentlemen. 2017 was a really great year. I mean, especially for me. I mean, you guys have stopped by. I've gotten over 180 subscribers, which is crazy. I mean, the number's like throttling still. I mean, where I think we're at like 177 or something like that, but it's been a pretty great year and it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you guys for making 2017 amazing. Um, there's some things coming this week. I mean, I'm gonna be turning 21 on Wednesday, which is really great. Yeah, I'm finally legally allowed to drink. That's that's something great to say on YouTube, especially with the whole FCC council thing that's been going on the past couple weeks. But either way, this has been a really great year. I want to thank you guys for coming along the ride with me. And this is the season finale, so I'm going to take a little break for the holidays, and then I'll be back in January with some gaming videos. So guess what? You all are getting uh, a whole month of gaming videos in January as well. So. Make sure you all stay tuned for that. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, until 2018, I'm The Real Philly Phil. This has been The Face Deserves to Be On Radio Season 1. And have happy holidays, and as always, keep it real. Peace. And now I must go return this box from whence it came, and also grab myself something to eat. I am starving. I'm not eating all day. Well, I ate an apple in the morning. That's what I usually do. Bye, guys. Boy, I suck at reading sometimes. The Razor Claim has... Uh, the Razer claim, Razer claim, the Razer phone has claimed, did I type this right? The Razer phone has the claim of, oh yeah, I did. The only complaint I have for this phone is that Raver at, Raver, oh, my tongue is, my tongue's not working today.